the question that I given given you in the Google Classroom. So let's go and discuss this question one by one. So let's go to question number one. <clears throat> Give one set of quantum numbers for an electron in 2s, 4p, and 3d orbitals. Okay, when you were asked to give one set of quantum numbers, meaning to say, kamu kena bagi itu set dalam bentuk NLMS, nasi lemak memang sedap. Okay, so kamu kena bagi dia dalam bentuk NLMS, nasi lemak memang sedap. So, jadi sekarang kita tengok sini, dia bagi kamu orbital 2S. So, when you are given orbital 2S, meaning to say, so N is equal to 2. Okay, and you are given S orbital, remember, we determine the S orbital from the value of L. So when you are given L equal to 0, 1, 2, and 3, so L equal to 0 indicates S orbital, L equal, equal to 1 indicates P orbital, and so on and so on. So now you are given S orbital, meaning to say your L is equal to S kan, your L is equal to 0. Okay, jadi bila kamu punya M is equal to 0, maka M kamu pun akan jadi 0. And then there are only two possible values of S, which is positive half and negative half. So you are asked to give one set of quantum numbers. Remember, quantum numbers should be written in NLMS. NLMS. So, maksudnya set yang pertama mungkin 200 positif half atau 200 negatif half. Sebab dia minta one set saja. Jadi kamu boleh pilih mau bagi yang ini ataupun mau bagi yang ini. Okay. So let's go to question number one again. Dia bagi pula kamu orbital poppy. So, ingat SPDF 00123 SPDF. So, sini ada 4. Maksudnya N kamu adalah 4. Maka L kamu, sebab dia P. P, maka L kamu adalah 1. M, possible values of M there adalah negative 1, 0 and positive 1. Possible values of S can only be positive half. And also negative half. Jadi kalau kamu tengok sini, kalau tadi dia ada two two possible sets of quantum numbers untuk tu S kan. So kalau for P ini kamu tengok A, for one negative one positive half, or for one negative one negative half dua. So kita boleh sambung lagi. So, kita boleh sambung lagi. <coughs> okay. Jadi, ada total 6. 6 untuk set quantum number bagi orbital 4P. Tapi, sebab dia minta kamu one set sahaja, mana-mana daripada 6, satu daripada 6 ini kamu tulis, kamu sudah berikan jawapan yang betul. Okay, so let's go to question, the next question. 3D, 3D, so N is equal to 3, so your L, tengok, D is equal to 1. D is equal to 2. So the possible values of M is negative 2, negative 1, 0, positive 1, and also positive 2. And then the possible values of S only positive half or negative so if you look here, you can get 10 sets of quantum numbers. The first one could be 3, 2, negative 2, positive half, or 3, 2, negative 2, or negative. The next one could be 3, 2, negative 1, positive half, or 3, 2, negative 1, negative half. And then could be 3, 2, 0, positive half, 
or could be three, two, zero, negative half. Or it could be three, two, positive one, positive half. Or three, two, positive one, negative half. And then the last one, three, two, positive two, positive half. Or three, two, positive two, negative half. So you can get ten. Ten sets of quantum numbers, but because you were asked to give one set, so you can choose any one, any one from this. You understand? Okay, so let's go to question number two. So question number two, you are given four types of orbitals. You are asked which of the orbitals are allowed. Which of the orbitals are allowed? So let's look at this. Okay, 2D, so meaning to say N is equal to 2. So when n is equal to 2, the only possible values of L is 0 and 1. So let's take a look. You are given d orbital. So d orbital meaning to say the L value is 2. So is this allowed or not? No, it is, it is not allowed. It is not allowed. So how you explain this? Okay, so when n is equal to 2, the possible values of L is 0 and 1. Thus, orbital 2D is not allow get to cara explain ya okay so let's go to second question orbital 7 s orbital 7 s so n is equal to 7 so the possible values of l is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 so this meaning to say the l is equals to Zero. Is this allowed? Yes, it is allowed. Okay, it is allowed. Next question. 3F. So, when for orbital 3F, N is equal to 3. So, the possible values of L when N is equal to 3 is 0, 1, and 2. But in this question, in this question, it is f orbital. So when f orbital l is equal to 3, okay, so it is not allowed. Okay, why it is not allowed? Because when n equals to 3, the possible values of l can only be 0, 1, and 2. Thus, orbital 3f is not Allow. Okay, and then the final question, orbital 4p. For orbital 4p, you know that n is equal to 4. So the possible values of L is 0, 1, 2, and 3. And this is given here, p orbital, then L is equal to 1. So it is allowed. Why is it allowed? Because when n is equal to 4, the possible values of L is 0, 1, 2, and 3. Thus, 4p orbital is allowed. Okay? So, let's go to question number 3. So, for this question, you are given a set of quantum numbers, set 1, set 2, and set 3. And for each set, you are given the value of n and also the value of l. So question A, you will ask to set the name of orbitals. So let's go here. SPGF 0, 1, 2, 3. So when l is c equals to 0, meaning to say it indicates s orbital. So number 1 is 2s. Number 2. 
Okay. L equals to 2. L equals to 2. So, it indicates D orbital. So, 3D. And then the final one. L equals to 1. L equals to 1. So, it indicates P orbital. So, number 3 is 5P. Okay. Question B. How many orbitals in each set? Okay. Remember, S orbital only has 1 orbital. 3 orbital, D orbital, 5 orbital, E orbital, 3 orbital. Okay. okay. So let's go to the final question. Which of the following quantum numbers and LMS are not allowed? Explain your answer. So we need to go through by through by through and LMS. So let's see here. N is equal to 1. So when N is equal to 1, L can only be 0. Okay, but you see here, L is equal to 1. So this is not allowed. Why? Because when N equals to 1, the possible values, the possible values of L is 0. Okay, let's go to question B. So you are given one set of quantum number 3, 1, negative 2, and positive half. So when n is equal to 3, l can only be 0, 1, and 2. Okay, 3 is correct, 1 is correct because it is listed here. So when l is equal to 1, m can only be negative 1, 0, and positive 1. So, this is not correct. So, this is not allowed. And then we need to explain. Okay, when L is equal to 1, the possible values, the possible values of M is negative 1, 0, one. That's all. Okay, let's go to question number 4C. Okay, so here you are given n is equal to 2. Okay, when n is equal to 2, the possible values of L is, possible values of L is 0 and 1. Okay, so this is correct. So we are taking this one only. So, M can only negative 1, 0, and plus 1. So, this is also correct. And then, the possible values of S could be negative half and positive half. So, this is also correct. So, it is allowed. Why? When N is equal to 2, the possible values... is 0 and 1 when L is equal to 1 the possible values of M is negative 1, 0 and positive 1 so the possible values of S also is positive half or negative half. Then it's done. Then let's go to the final question. We're given set quantum numbers of 2, 0, 0 and half. So let's check one by one. So when n is equal to 2, your L would be 0, 1 and 2. So this is correct. This is also correct. So, when your L is 0, M is equals to 0. So, this is also correct. So, S can be positive half 
all negative. Uh, so we need to say the set of quantum numbers is hello and then we can explain just like this when n is equal to 2 l the possible values of l is 0 1 2 when l equals to 0 the possible values of m is 0 okay the possible values S is positive R or negative R. Okay, so minta maaf tulisan buruk sebab mengejar itu lain internet yang pandai kadang-kadang down. So I hope you can get something from our class today. Um, that's all for today. Be safe, stay safe, jaga diri elok elok, jaga kesehatan mental, jaga kesehatan fizikal. Let's fight and win this together, okay? Okay, goodbye and take care.